I was looking at my old pictures on my computer from my, my phones in the past. And I, um, I was looking at some of the old watches that I used to own and uh, that I never got round to reviewing because at the time I didn't have um, a watch channel because I didn't know whether to begin with a blog, um, like a, you know, a, a writing blog, a written blog, or to do YouTube. And so even though I was collecting watches years ago, um, I didn't bother to, to actually produce YouTube videos, which is stupid of me. Um, but I decided of the ones that I like, I decided I would retrospectively review some of the watches of, that I've owned and I have, I have sold most of them on now. Um, but I thought I would review some of the ones that I actually quite liked. Um, and the first video I'm making today is, is, a, is, is of homages. And so the first one that I want to talk about is one by Deedon Design or Dieden Design. I don't know how you pronounce it. They're, um, they're a Chinese homage manufacturer and there is no guessing what, what brand or what model this is homage in. And we all know what it is. And that is the, that is the, you know, universally known Royal Oak from Audemars Piguet. Um, it is obviously a, a you know, a fashion icon, a, a social status icon. The, the, the watch that it's homaged from, it's worn by celebrities worldwide and it costs unbelievable amounts of money. Um, the watch, the Dieden one, is a, a, a notable homage. Um, they've done a really good job for what I paid for this watch because at the time I paid less than 100 quid off AliExpress. For some reason, I can't find a shop called that, like a, a Dieden Design official store on AliExpress anymore. I don't know what they've done, whether they've got rid of it or something, or whether they've fallen out with AliExpress. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they, they've just changed the name. But they actually do have a website where you can buy this watch. And if you're in the UK, they're selling it for around 150 GBP, which mm, I think is too high, personally. But the, the, the bracelet, obviously, is homaging the unbelievable bracelet from Audemars, from, 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 you know, that's on the Royal Oak. And that bracelet is is completely unique and, and beautiful and... You know, there are, it, it feels, the closest bracelet that it feels to, in, in my opinion, is probably the Omega Seamaster 300M bracelet. The 5 or the 9 link, depending on who you ask, bracelet that's on that watch. It's somewhat similar-ish. And it also, loosely, is somewhat looks like it. Because it looks like it's a, um, it looks like it's a kind of 5 link bracelet. It's actually not, it's more like a 3 link because you've got the two inners that articulate on a kind of chunkier um, horizontal supporting piece. But the look of it is beautiful. The, that, that, this watch is, this Dieden watch, it is a beefy watch. The lug to lug is too high. Um, I think it's a 42 mil nominal, but in reality, I would say it wears more like a 43 and the lug to lug is big it's it's I get i'm guessing now it's about i don't know 52 mil something like that um and as an all day wear on the bracelet i felt it was a little bit too bulky at the time whether i would feel that way now because i bought this watch around i don't know four four years ago whether i would feel that way now i don't actually know but it, it was a good, you can get it in quartz or automatic at the time. I bought it in quartz because it was slightly cheaper. And it has the very similar look to the real uh, AP. Um, the dial is a kind of beautiful, it reminds me of a grenade dial, but it's not grenade. It has like these raised squares in like a pattern. Um, it does look very, very nice. Mine, mine was a kind of purpley blue. I mean, the blue could have been, they, they tried to keep it as close to the one, it, you know, the original that it's homage from, but I think the blue could have been a slightly different color because it's more purple. Um, 
I love the bezel. The bezel is stunning. Um, very similar, obviously, to the to the original. the The crown is a big crown with no guards. It is a, a big, beefy crown that, that 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 they stick on it. And the watch overall is quite beefy. Although I wouldn't say it's too heavy, but it is quite beefy. And that's why I really sold it. Now, I did also, I'll show you a picture now. I did also buy it on um, on a, a leather band. But the leather, because I've got seven and a half inch wrists, the, the leather band, I, they, they, they didn't make it big enough. And it barely fit on my wrist. They just didn't make the leather band big enough on it. So I sold that one as well. Um, basically, I prefer it on bracelet. If I was going to buy it again, and you know what, I might actually buy it again, but I'm not paying 150 quid for it. I don't think it's that big. Yeah, I'm just looking at now in that picture, and the, the I remember at the time thinking the crown sticks out too far. I bet with that crown, that crown will add another four or five mil onto the overall diameter of the watch. It's too big that crown. That's what's one thing I didn't like about it. Um, but but if you can look past that, the, the watch is actually the, just the bracelet alone, the, the the craftsmanship and engineering that's gone into it. And there's loads of loads of companies there that are selling uh, homages to the Royal Oak bracelet. But it is beautiful. The clasp is a butterfly clasp. And just looking now, I I wore watches very tight or a lot tighter in them days when I used to wear bracelet watches ten years ago. I would wear them that tight that they would they would actually make um, a mark on my wrist at the end of the day. I just didn't like the watch to move in any capacity. Well, um, I'd, uh, now as I've got a bit older, um, now I I actually prefer the watch to be loose. That's my preference. Now, the, I don't recall anything really catching my wrist with with butterfly clasps. The clasp is nice, um, but butterfly clasps are definitely not my favourite. They're just not. The way you have to put them on, sometimes you have to put one side down um, and then wait for the other, and if you put the first side, the wrong side down first, it's just annoying. And other times, I've had it where the, the butterfly clasp clasp catches my wrist now in this instance um the clasp was okay and it wasn't too another thing i've had is that clasps are too stiff and that's going to be in the next watch that i'm going to review in a second but overall this died and design watch um as a, as a homage it's not a bad you're getting you're getting a lot of the looks of the actual you know original and the the, the quality of it i'm not going to say it's quality but it's not bad for the price I paid, which looking back, I think was closer to £85. Because um, I definitely didn't pay 150 quid for it, and I don't think I paid over 100 quid for it. So I think it was about £85. And I would say that is not too bad for that watch. But I would probably get it if I was going to get it again. I'd get it in the automatic version. I wouldn't get it in the quartz. I would actually get it in the automatic. And I'd get it in, in two-tone to, to really spruce it up a little bit. But not bad. The lug to lug is too high, in my opinion. Um, but again, I'd like to try it again with um, the way I wear watches now. Would I have a completely different experience? If I can pick it up again, I will do. Right, the next watch I'm going to talk about is one that I believe is still on AliExpress. And that's the Peter Lee um, like little sports watch, which we, we again know is... A homage to a very, very famous watch. Again, arguably as famous as the Audemars, as the AP Royal Oak. And this is a homage to the um, Patek Philippe Nautilus. The 5711 to be precise. Now that watch is again a, a global status icon. And, you know, rich celebrities and so forth spend hundreds of thousands buying those watches and similar watches to it now this peter lee one I, I think i paid something like 40 quid or something really cheap for it and to be fair to be fair for 40 british pounds 
it really, really was not bad. I would say that the quality is less than the um, Dieden one that I got. And the main, I mean, the thing, the thing is about the actual real Nautilus. In my opinion, it looks too small on the wrist because it is only a forty mil watch, and this is only a forty mil watch. And I, when it doesn't have a big supporting case, and when the lug to lug is very small, I think the real Nautilus has a lug to lug of about forty five mil or something like that, and I think that is too small for most men. Um, and basically. This Peter Lee homage, it it was too small on my wrist, I felt, a little bit. But the main thing that annoyed me was the clasp. The clasp on this thing, which I've not actually got a picture of. Well, that I've took, I've not got a picture that I took. Um, the clasp, was it, it has a kind of like hidden butterfly. So there's a, cla there's a safety catch over the butterfly. So, so just looking at it, you can't tell it's a butterfly, essentially. That's what I mean by that. But, um, and, and you have to really prise the butterfly clasp open to get it off. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I, I, I just want to be able to click some buttons and get it off very easily. Well, you can't do that on the clasp that they provided. Again, this is about four years ago at the time. So, but in terms of looks... It's hard to deny that it doesn't look very similar to the uh, to the to the real Nautilus. You know, the the case, the bracelet, the bracelet is a kind of two link, two link design, or not too dissimilar to a H, a H link bracelet. Um, but it is, it, it's it's light. It's only about 11, 12 mil thick. Um, I, I, as I said, the the low to lug is 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 small. Um, the crown is not too big or over, overpowering. It's a very improportionate watch. Another thing that not, I mean, the dial was a beautiful purple, kind of like purple in the middle, going into like a dark outer. Another thing that annoyed me at this watch was um, the fact that one of the circular markers on the outside ring, the outside ring of the watch, um, on the dial, did was was notably misaligned with the six o'clock indices, and that just really pe peed me off. I could see it every time I checked the time. So there was clearly a quality control issue there, but this is what you get for 40 quid on a Peter Lee watch. I, I mean, it'd be nice if someone made um, a really good homage to the nautilus it would i've not found any that are really really good that look similar but at the same time with the with these i mean the the ape the the nautilus the real nautilus you know it is a beautiful beautiful watch and they've done they did a quite a good job of making it look similar but the clasp was terrible the dial had obvious QC issues with the way that the markers were laid. And to me, that was just a deal breaker. I can't wear a watch if it's significantly misaligned in the way that it was so easy to see because the, the outer ring contrasted very much with the, the, the dial. So for me, um, I wouldn't bother with it. I wouldn't bother buying, it, buying with it. However, in the past four years, they may have upgraded the you know, iterations of it, and they may have a new version that has superior specs and tolerances. I don't think the water resistance was that great either. I think it was either unrated or 30 metres. But, again, it does look like the real thing. And I just thought I'd point them two out. These are two two watches that I picked up four years ago that, um, before I had the channel... And I just thought I'd just retrospectively review them to show you what um, was out there at the time. Okay, have a great day. It's been Dave. Nice one.